And I just made an amazing discovery. Well, it's not amazing, but it goes back to an earlier video that I had. If you recall, a few days ago, we made a video on sea urchins. And I told you about what the seagulls, the herring gulls, will do to them if they find them uh, out of the water and on the beach. Now, this guy was left high and dry by the high tide. And let's see what the, what the herring gull has done to him. He's obviously dead. His spines are all laying down. He's not moving. And he's quite a distance from the water. Now, this little sea urchin did not walk all the way up the beach from there to here. In fact, I am afraid this little sea urchin is no longer. And if we look here, you will see just, see that orangish material in there? Those are the remains of the sea urchin's guts, if you will. And that orange stuff is actually their eggs. And that's really high in protein and, and calories, and so the the, the herring gull who's starving and hungry all the time, they find these urchins, they've, they're they left high and dry when the tide goes out, they roll them over, and they peck, 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 and then they extract all the innards. And there's not a heck of a lot to the inside of any echinoderm. Remember, urchin is an echinoderm. It's made up of that five-part body. It has a spine to protect it, but if you look at it, if you take the spines off, you'll see a pattern that looks like the same pattern you'd see on a sand dollar, or you'd see on a sea star, a starfish, or on a sea cucumber. These guys are all cousins, if you will, in a loose sort of sense. If you look in there, poor little urchin. So when the tide comes in, now that this is upside down, the water will lift it up and float it up the beach, up to the high tide mark. Um, if not, it'll lay at the bottom and fill up with water, and then crabs will crawl in, and they'll finish the rest of that. But by low tide this afternoon this will be clean as a whistle the spines will be on totally dead it's just a shell an urchin test so i was hoping we might discover one of those as i walked up and down the beach that's good because that fills out the lesson on the sea urchins all right well thanks for hearing me out until next time this is tide pool tim headed off on the beach looking for adventure <laughs>